Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to talk on the topic analytical techniques. Infrared spectroscopy. IR spectroscopy is a technique used to identify compounds based on changes in vibrations of atoms when they absorb IR of certain frequencies. Organic molecules absorb infrared light. The reason for this is that the electromagnetic radiation in the infrared region causes bonds to vibrate. Each bond vibrates at a particular frequency and absorbs the light at that frequency. This means that by looking at which frequencies are absorbed, it is possible to determine which bonds are present. A spectrophotometer irradiates the sample with electromagnetic waves in the infrared region and then detects the intensity of the wavelength of IR radiation which goes through the sample. The infrared spectrum shows the amount of light being absorbed at particular frequencies. The frequency is usually expressed as the wave number, which is the reciprocal of the wavelength of units of centimeter inverse. Some characteristic absorption ranges of common bonds and the functional groups containing the bonds are shown in the table below. The bond, the functional groups containing the bond and the characteristic infrared absorption range in wave number centimeter inverse is shown here. Range of values are given because a functional group is affected by other functional groups nearby. So a particular bond will give one value in one compound and a slightly different one in another. When looking at infrared spectrums, there will be a number of absorptions that will not be able to recognize as we only study a selection of the possible absorptions. Broad or sharp peaks, as well as their wave number bands, particular absorbances have characteristic widths, broad or sharp peaks, and intensities, strong or weak, on the infrared spectrum. For example, the presence of hydrogen bonding makes the absorbance of the OH bonds in alcohols and carboxylic acids broad. By contrast, the C double O bond in carbonyl groups has a strong sharp absor absorbance peak. Example of the infrared spectrum of ethanol is shown here. As you can see, a broad spectrum, a broad peak is indicating that of alcohol OH group. The next one is spectrum of ethanoic acid CH3COOH. The OH group is having a broad peak over here which represents the OH of a carboxyl group which lies in the area 2500 to 3000. The next example is ethyl ethanoate CH3COOCH2CH3. This contains an ester group. The ester value rise in the range. C single O ester value rise in the range 1040 to 1300 and C double O ester value rise in the range 1710 to 1750. Look at the two infrared spectra below. Which one of the infrared spectra is that of butanone and which one is that of butan to all? Explain your reasoning in part A. Answer is shown here. IR spectrum A is butanone and B is butan to all. The reason for that is A is butanone because of a strong sharp absorption at 1710 centimeter inverse, characteristic of the C double O in the ketone. Whereas B shows a strong broad absorption at 3200 to 3500 centimeter inverse, characteristic of the OH in an alcohol. Use the data from the table below of characteristic infrared absorptions in organic molecules to answer the following questions. One of the three spectra labeled A to C below is produced when ethanol is analyzed in an infrared spectrophotometer. 
Consider the three spectra above to decide which one is most likely to be produced by ethanol. Give three reasons for your choice. Answer. The answer for the first question is spectrum C. Reason. Any three you can write. Spectrum A has the OH peak at 2500 to 3300 cm inverse which is characteristic of carboxylic acids. Spectrum B has the OH peak at 3230 to 3550 cm inverse characteristic of alcohols. Spectrum C has the C double O peak at 1680 to 1750 cm inverse characteristic of an aldehyde. The aldehyde peak in C is sharp because of no hydrogen bonding in aldehydes. The broad peaks in A and B are characteristic of the hydrogen bonded carboxylic acids and alcohols. That's all. Thank you so much for watching this video.